Hi all, welcome to AIQ. Uh, it's a podcast dedicated to the artificial intelligence and the data science field. Uh, it is specifically made to dive deep into the data concepts, the artificial intelligence. It is going to be a very beginner friendly series in AI and the data science field. So it is going to help you uh, learn a lot on uh, data science and AI. So let's start with the most common uh, challenge which people find in this industry when they want to learn about data science and that is how important is maths in the data science field. So we have uh, today's uh, guest uh, and he's into one of the prominent industries out there which is finance and fintech and let's understand uh, that how much is maths important in uh, learning the data science field. Uh, so hi everyone. Uh, the first and the foremost answer to the question that how important mathematics is to machine learning is it is very very important because if you know the core of machine learning is based on mathematics and machine learning is the core of data science so yes it is very important having said that there are enough resources on the internet that you can avail for free and that are paid as well both that you can avail and learn these concepts it is no rocket science that you can't read about it apart from that it also doesn't require any advanced mathematics if you are a beginner into the field or even if you are a uh, intermediate guy in the field so yes it is important but there are many other aspect also and it is achievable what I wish to say so let's say if someone is not very uh, prominent into the basic mathematical aspects like the probability the statistics and uh, some of the most common use cases in data science uh, someone is not very comfortable in learning it uh, so how do they go about it? Uh, what do you think might be uh, the first step which they should take uh, into learning the maths part of the data science? Uh, so I think uh, what I believe is to read books because eventually there are many good books on probability and stats that can help you out. Having said that, you don't need to understand everything. You, whatever stuff you can read in the first go, in the second go, you don't need to deep that dive because eventually in my experience uh, there would be very less chances that you would be implementing these things so but to know is very important so as a starter you can go read some books there are many blogs available as well many big publications on data science are uh, publishing articles very regularly so you can read that many youtube tutorials are available on the mathematics required and what i would suggest whatever concept you are reading in data science like because it is the vast field take up mathematics accordingly so if you're reading about an algorithm say logistic regression you should read about the mathematics about the algorithm then and there don't read beforehand so whatever is coming just read and go with the flow that sounds really easy for the people who would like to uh, enter the field but let's say uh, logistic regression let's take that as an example let's say if someone is uh, finding a little bit challenging in understanding those uh, uh, algorithms and the mathematical part of it so can they do something to ease up that process uh, i think a number of illustrations are available uh, and the best part about this mathematical concepts that are getting used is it is a one time read because for example logistic regression this algorithm if you know once you are done for the life because now the mathematics and the algorithm won't be changing and uh, being in the industry for a long time i think there is a pool of 10 to 12 algorithms that will help you out like solve 80 percent of the problems so it's a one time read for 10 to 12 algorithms and eventually reading a little bit uh, every time you are moving ahead reading something new so if you know the mathematical concepts around these basic algorithms that would be great and to be honest, a number of good resources are available on the internet. Some illustrations are there. People have made some GIF, some short videos demonstrating everything. Stack Overflow is there. Now Chat GPT has come in. So I think reading this mathematical concept it has become a lot, lot easier. Well, that sounds very promising for the people uh, who would like to get started with it. Let's talk about some other aspects of uh, the same mathematical uh, problem which we have uh, in learning the data science and the AI. So uh, what do you think, how much of the uh, mathematics is required in day-to-day -day life? Let's say if someone is a data scientist who um, uh, is working for, let's say, a startup in uh, any of the countries out there, how much of mathematics is involved there in day-to-day -day, uh, problem solving and day-to-day -day, uh, works of a data scientist? Uh, to be honest, I think uh, I will be giving you a very clear picture. 
even in my full time job i think implementing algorithms takes a very less proportion you would be meeting with stakeholders making dashboard presenting out your results uh, problem uh, solving out a whole business problem rather than a machine learning problem at times so eventually this implementation you would be finding like say very seldom uh, in your whole career only uh, in your day to day life having said that most the the languages that are getting used python and r both have all the ready made functions already available for implementing all the mathematical stuff so i have seen guys like who don't know the mathematics but still understand the intuitive meaning how the algorithm is working and that is more than sufficient so in terms of implementation i think you won't be implementing anything from scratch like except very very rare cases and yes that is why i think us understanding would be more than helpful uh, you might not be implementing these stuff uh, very regularly all right so you're saying that uh, in day to day work uh, uh, even if someone is not exactly aware of solving the mathematical problems but intuitively is able to understand how it works it it smoothens up the process of um, uh, doing the data science job on a daily basis if i'm not wrong uh, yeah, yeah really so uh, on this on the same part let's say if a stakeholder wants to uh, if a stakeholder is from the core industry and they want to understand how uh, let's say an algorithm is actually going to solve the problem and how the algorithm uh, is a perfect match for the solution which they are trying to build so wouldn't uh, they ask you to uh, maybe put up some equations and put their use cases in that and maybe do some calculative analysis uh, in the meetings or so uh i think this is a complete myth that in business meetings you would be presenting uh, pre- equations so that never happens uh to answer this i think there is a field called as explainable ai that has come in where now you are you need to explain why the model gave these results and this is a separate field in the field of data science and ai where you there are certain algorithms certain packages that help you understand why the algorithm is giving such results which variable is important so business guys would never be interested in the equation part of it not the technical guys also because i have been a part of number of interviews both as an interviewer as an interviewee as well and i never asked anyone a mathematical equation i don't remember because uh, this is i won't be asking a person to write down the equation i would be more interested in the business prospect how are you solving it so yes i think the equations won't be required this is just for your understanding all right let's dive deeper into this topic and explore what are some core topics in mathematics which uh, an enthusiast can uh, start learning about to strengthen the concepts and get started with the maths part of it i think there are certain basic mathematics that would be always required the bot mass rules addition subtraction multiplication is always required apart from that linear algebra is a very important point understanding of planes hyperplanes is required differentiation integration at a basic level is required you need to understand why a loss function is getting used so basic understanding is required i don't think advanced concepts would be required at any point and even if they are required they would be required just once so i think for a starter linear algebra would be something that you can go with probability and statistics is something that you should know and then some here and there concepts that you can read on the go all right so when you talk about the algebra when you talk about a little bit of stats is it the stat which people study uh, on the high school level or 10th class level or is it the 12th and the graduation stuff i think it is mostly the same like how you basically calculate probability what is precision what is recall how accuracy is getting calculated these are very basic stuff uh and eventually very much resembling to your school courses i remember my uh it has been a time it has been some time now but yeah i remember certain most of the concepts i read in my school only like for example differentiation and integration that you use here for like back propagation and like for fine tuning your weights is something that we have all read in our class 10th or 12th section so yeah there is some most of the things are overlapping with your school curriculum only all right very interesting question came to my mind right now and uh, that would be let's say someone uh, took bio in uh, biology in the 12th class or in the intermediate so how would they uh, be relating to the uh, stats and the uh, a little bit of probability and the algebra part of it 
uh, see what I believe is learning is something that should never stop. I had colleagues in my team which are from geology department. They are from chemical department. So branch is something or like the subject that you took in your school or in your college also won't be uh, mattering that much because most of the guys in this particular field, if you even check on their LinkedIn profile, are from different uh, domains. They are not completely from computer science. So basically it really doesn't matter from which branch you are. I think understanding basic mathematics is required. If you know that uh, from which uh, even if you are from com uh, commerce background, you are most welcome in this field. Wow, that's that's really promising. Let's say if someone is someone has tried a little bit uh, or maybe haven't tried it, but they are fearful of the mathematics and the probs and also uh, going into the calculations or maybe understanding the gradient descent and the, uh, the understanding of the algorithms on how they are uh, actually uh, predicting the next word or how the transformers or how the basic uh, AI uh, works. So let's say if they still want to make a living out of it and let's say if they still are interested in the AI field and the work which AI does and the impact which it makes. So are, is there any place uh, uh, for them in this market? Are there any jobs which actually cater to or can uh, uh, make these people also get a place in the AI domain? A uh, very nice question. I think this is a question that I have been getting a lot on my social media also. So yes, I think the data field is quite vast. If you have heard of roles like MLOps coming in, prompt engineering coming in, data analyst. So these are the roles which would be requiring mathematics, but at a very, very minimal. I think the coming of generative AI has opened up a lot of roles where your verbal skills are more important than your mathematical skills. How are you writing that prompt? So uh, generative AI field is one of the examples where mathematics would be a little lower side. Data analyst, ML ops roles are also something that I can think of which might require mathematics on a lower side. But as I am from a data science background, I'm not commenting much on that because I'm not completely aware of the job role. But uh, these are certain things, that, certain roles that you can look into. Well, that's, uh, I, I guess there are a couple of options and uh, these people can also make into the industry with that. So that's all uh, in this episode, guys. Uh, I hope it made sense to you. I hope we were able to uh, give you some examples on how math is important and uh, what are the myths regarding uh, to us and uh, how we are actually uh, differentiating our opinion from the uh, maybe the very popular opinions on the internet. And I would say it's not that uh, the conclusion of this uh, conversation is that it is important. Yes, you need to understand how it all works. But at the same time, it's not that you will have to sit and uh, do calculations for two and three pages, like just like you used to do in the uh, in the previous uh, learnings or your previous journeys in different classes and different uh, curriculums. So that's all in this episode. And we will see you in the next one with some more important topics.